Hello and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress. I'm Absurdities. We are still cleaning up after our last round of demon beast ambushes. Uh, but things are going are going pretty well. We're just going to carry on, let the dwarves do their thing, and uh, kind of survey things. Yes, of course. What is that? Jabber leather shoe. Okay, cool. Well, as usual, I need to... Repeat, dash dash name, and if it did, this is, this is getting old, time, 1200, command, unforbid, all. Alright, at least we only have to do it the once, and uh, yeah, keep on trucking. Now, I do need to get more bedrooms fleshed out. We do have most of the beds actually laid in where they need to be. I believe, yeah, that bedroom needs to be added right there. And, uh, no, that's great. Things are coming along very well here. Just having a little peek with my Mark I eyeball for gems. It looks like we're clear. Oh! Did I do something? Yeah, I did something very, very wrong here. <laughs> That's all right. It's fixable. We'll just put those there and pretend the rest of it never happens. You didn't see anything, okay? One by three bedrooms. That would be that would be kind of sad. Need one more block there. Right there. And. So far, so good. Okay, how about some doors? We want to make sure we have tons of accommodations for all the dwarves. Pretty sure that's sparring happening that we're hearing the bong 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 bong. Again, annoying, but not much we can do about it right now. All right, there's a chunk of bedrooms, all defined. I think we'll go ahead and stuff these ones in as well. Just three more bedrooms. And doors above. Door to door, door to door. Doors for dwarfs. And, and for days as well. So, let's see here, uh, the mayor, so, uh, yeah, Player X, the, uh, Baroness has ended a mandate, and then the mayor has mandated construction of certain goods. Let's have a look, what is that? Never mind, no mandates. There's no mandates here, so, I guess we must have done it, maybe that was last time. Or bolts. Something along, along those lines. Yeah, we never did set up the mayor's quarters, did we? No, nope, they're still sitting up here waiting for doors. So, can we um, make top priority here? Make sure these get the doors first. Need double reed. Oh, to assemble crumb horns, really? Okay, let's let's have a look at that. That's wrong menu. Assemble crumb horn. Maybe it's up the top somewhere. No. Again, just the ability to search and sort in this in this menu would be pretty great. We have sort, but we don't have Oh wait. I saw it. Assemble crumb horn. So bodies, wind caps, ah, double reeds. Okay. Okay. So let's make some double reeds. Make double reed. 
Let's make 12 of them. What do we make them out of? Out of um, reed plants? Oh, huh. I'm not sure we have reed plants. That could be problematic. Well, that would be annoying because we just keep trying to make um, we keep trying to make all of the nice instruments for our people, and they keep telling us, "Oh, we don't have the stuff for that," which uh, I'm a little tired of now. Uh, door position in line twelve. We do need a lot of doors. Make leather two hundred and sixty four of them. Make leather hood two hundred forty nine of them. Yeah, I think that's part of that mod that I set up, and it's um, it's doing weird things. Uh, or the well, the DF hack scripts. What was it? Is it? It wasn't Taylor. Um. Was it in the GUI list here? Mm, I don't think so. Auto clothing, I think that was it. Yeah. yeah okay, so currently set two automatic clothing order orders, leather hood and leather cloak. Um, I kind of want to turn this off and let Taylor do the work. Taylor seems to be doing the work just fine. And then, yeah, so can we, how do we go ahead and disable auto clothing? Um, maybe just disable auto clothing. No, it's just, uh, oh no, command finish successfully. Okay. I think it has now been disabled. Um, we can try and remove these orders for a stupid amount of hoods and cloaks. And that should help. We can also look back and see if they're getting added back, and I don't, I don't see it. I don't know how often it checks, but it seems to be fine. Okay, meanwhile, still no doors. Um, maybe we just need uh, make many doors, kind of. Make double read, make cloth robe, make cloth cap. Well, it was hoods and cloaks, so yeah. It's, it's okay. Rock door, please. And let's just go ahead and make like 30 of them. And as a one-time job, I think it's given greater priority. One thing we could consider is smoothing out the entire fort at some point soon. I think the dwarves would all appreciate that. Uh, we also have three, like, really unhappy dwarves. Are they dwarves, though? Yeah, still par. Also, this leather worker and that engineer are pretty upset. Uh, you don't feel anything after seeing a lot of dead bodies. So why are you so unhappy? Mm. Lack of perseverance. Find yourself hopeful about the future. Tends to only form tenuous emotional bonds. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything here that I'm seeing. Maybe values. No, nothing in there was really indicating why they're super unhappy. Um, certainly not lack of food. But maybe, yeah, maybe we're just at the point where we need to start smoothing out things. Let's start right here, just for fun. Uh, we have a lot of trees growing up around... ...around here. I think we're gonna have to definitely make some changes here. 
around the outskirts. Keep them three units away. Take out that boulder. And then we'll put in some uh, some roads, I think. It's going to be a lot of roads, though. I'm not super enthused. Oh, you're seriously injured. Dwarven baby. Yada! Okay. Hopefully someone takes them downstairs. A human nail bracelet. Gross. Okay, trees are being cut. Uh, you know what? We're going to cut this one in here, too. And let's go into constructions. We're going to make a paved road. We're going to need to cut these two. What now? Troglodyte and rodent woman spearman. Well, you all enjoy your fight. Yeah, you did. Another troglodyte fighting? Yeah. Wait, mandated construction of certain goods again? Yes, make splints too. Okay. Make splints. Make a rock splint. We're just gonna make two of those. Just to satisfy the mayor. Or Baroness, I'm not sure which one it was. It's the mayor. I'm actually gonna cancel that piece of road for now. Let them get that done before we, we go nuts um, with more stuff. This is nice to see. We're getting those crops in. Yes, we got some rain to get rid of all the blood. Like, this pool of blood has been here for like a year, it seems. We don't seem to get much rain here. Also, this is kind of bugging me. Let's get another cage trap right on that location. Make sure we have three... You know, let's cut this tree. You're in the way, tree. As we found out... Oh, uh, migrants... There we go. How many migrants are we going to get today? Give me one second. I'm going to get uh, Dwarf Therapist open. And we shall see. There we go. Open that. Minimize. I will unpause. Oh, it's a lot. It's 20. It is 20. All right. Let's do a manual check here. Uh, hello? Dwarf Therapist, can you please? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna do the old display capture, and here are the names. Uh, somewhere I have a notepad with not that stuff. Alright, let me find out where my list is. Nope, not that. That was Minecraft stuff. File. Where's my recent? Open all recent files. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let me sort this out. I'll, I'll come back to you. I found it. Okay, 
Uh, we're gonna cross-reference the names. We chucked this one into lava, if you remember, in the summer of 158. So we're looking for Sarvesh. Lol, no. Okay, so that's a different Sarvesh. Kalmol. H-I-J-K-L. No Kalmol and no Kivish. So that's good. No obvious wear pangolins. Now, of course, it doesn't mean there aren't any. But we will just have to do the regular quarantine work that we are normally doing. Uh, I guess I was a little hasty to get rid of that. So, I'll show you what I'm doing here. Is just taking all these people, highlighting them all with shift, and then uh, we're gonna customize set custom profession name as migrants. Okay, and then you have to commit that to memory. Because effectively, effectively what this does is it reads Dwarf Fortress's memory uh, in the computer sense, not like not its history, but literally what it has loaded into uh, memory. There we are. So, let us carry on. Uh, these people are going to take a minute to get in here. This is a lot of people. We should probably really be proactive about this and... Yeah, migrant, migrant. Six, seven, eight. And we're going to make sure this is unpaused so that they hopefully walk right into there instead of down into the fort. It's almost a full moon as we speak, so I believe. Either that or it just passed. But I'm going to get our squad to mingle there. All right, back into here. We're just going to have to keep doing this. Two more migrants. What's that? Ten? Ten more to go. One, two, just came in. Three. Again. No, oh, no, no. Wrong keys. One, two, three. I'm going to say those are probably also migrant children. Either that or we just had some people give birth. Oh, Metalsmith Guild has been established, but they haven't petitioned for anything, so that's okay. The Guild of Earth, what a great name. And the one other thing I'm going to have to look at is down here. Make sure we put any of the, the migrant animals that need to be here. You know what? These guys can go in there too. I don't know if... You're just Impala, so probably not. Well, we have a giant rat. What is, what is trained and what is not trained, I guess? But I always go through this. Partially trained, wild trainable. Partially trained, partially trained. You're roaming. Maybe Samora Impala came onto the map. I, I feel like that's probably the case right now. Uh, let's get into here. Others. Yeah. We're going to train you. We're going to train the giant rat, because why not? And that's that. Okay, back to this. Make sure we get the last five. One, two, three, four. Anybody else? That's 19 out of 20. Oh no, one, two, three. I guess those children are not included in that list. So that's, but that's 20 assigned right there. Okay. We just gotta be on the lookout for 20 dwarves to be in here now. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, that's a child. I think they're going to leave. Oh no, you're a migrant. So those children are migrants. 
I mean, it makes sense. It's just, uh, they weren't showing on, um, what am I trying to say? Dwarf Therapist, because I don't have children currently shown in those lists. So they'll have to go in there after all. But we're pretty close here. Okay, there's one of the children. There's a couple migrants there. It's it's full moon right now, so... I think we're safe. I mean, there's not much we can do about it if suddenly, right now, they turn. We just weren't given the time. It's the only problem with that, I suppose. If we, um, as soon as we got a migrant wave, we shut up the fort and had the quarantine, say, outside, that would maybe make more sense. Because we're, the fort's a little bigger than it was when I first planned this. Uh, okay, we're just going to let them out. None, none, pause. You know, we will go ahead and just go ahead and just add everyone to these two zones because we might need it. And you folks can go about your regular schedule. There we are. Ah, we did make double reads, so we had all the stuff we needed for that. Tana hide needs 375 unrotten skin tannable globs. I feel like that's left over from, from all the leather we needed or something. Either that or it just kept stacking somehow. Alright, well, fair enough. These guys are building the road. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so that's an Impala. What's here? It's just cages. That's good. We'll just catch animals as they come into the fort. We have some doors going in. Not these ones, though. Of course not. You know, we only put them as top priority. Amazing. Just amazing. We just need more. It's the only... It's the only thing. We just need more. Uh, we can start to lay the beds in there, though. So if I click Furniture properly... I did it for once. I clicked the right thing instead of immediately going to Construction, because my brain just... wants to construct, I guess. There we go, there's that. We'll put those doors in these other couple rooms. And then we can have them designated. Uh, we need these beds, though. Furniture. Bed. Oh, I did see a petition. We busy. We also need a wall. So, wall right there between those rooms and then we'll go into here bedroom multi do that do that i missed a couple i missed some doors again construction okay where'd i miss the door right there that's where the i missed the door I missed the bed here And I missed a bed somewhere else, right here. Looks good. Bedroom, multi. You're covered, you're covered, done. Okay, what's this petition about? It is the Metalsmith Guild. They want a, a guild hall. Metalsmith Guild, that requires a guild hall. Okay, I guess so. Um, let's start with what I like to do. I put displays in. Although I'll wait, I'll wait on the display. Let's um, let's smooth out this room. And how about that one while we're at it? 
we're up to 155 population. Of that 155, seven are in various states of unhappiness. I cannot state how much I believe this to be as a result of the waterfall and the little moodlets they get from those. Um, and probably the unhappiness is as a result of not enough bedrooms. Like, oh man, we're n I mean, we haven't even built these, but if that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, so it's 160, 176 bedrooms. We're going to need more before too long. So another line or two, anyways, on either side. Probably out this way, I guess. Yeah, we have these weird rooms in the middle that's kind of throwing off our, our plan from above, but it's fine. A dark corpse, a Noel Peddler dark corpse is visiting. We also have a ban on certain exports. Export of bolts is prohibited. Can you tell that they like bolts? It's fine. I don't generally export bolts anyways. We've made two doors. Brilliant. We need empty cages as well. They should be making cages. I'm just going to complain about it for a while. Okay. The Forgotten Beast. Gazru Ugznorisru Tunarstozu has come. A great hairy leech. It has thin wings of stretched skin and it is ravening. Its pumpkin hair is long and wavy. Beware its deadly spittle. Pause. <sighs> okay. Okay. Where are you? You're down in the far depths, and I believe we are well walled off in this whole area. Yeah, even from the water. So, oh, well, let's watch it for a minute, I suppose. Let me slow down the simulation a little bit. It does seem to be able to climb slash fly. So hopefully we didn't leave any gaps. Uh, maybe it would be prudent to go ahead and move these people to our staircase. There's the main staircase. Is this it? Yeah, that's all that's left of the staircase at that point. Because it was being built in open air. We never did fix it. Beware its deadly spittle. Well, it's not immediately going for the staircase, so that's good. Maybe a troglodyte's gonna punch it to death, like they did to the steam one. Gazru Whisper Crevice, the Impervious Poisons is the name. That does not inspire. Anything other than fear, I guess. Why does it always want to go off to the left? I don't really get it. Hey, why don't you go take a swim in lava? Yeah, you're headed that way. Good call. You'll find it nice and warm. It'll never be cold again. Oh my god, it's going over the lava. Is it... Uh, I don't think it's getting hurt, like it's not going through the lava. It's going- oh, it's going after the, um... After the mushroom people, I think. I hope that's the case. Yep. The mushroom people are gonna punch it to death. No. No, that's not happening. Okay. It's off to find some more victims, I guess. Yeah, this thing's scary because it flies. Like, if there's one gap, we're screwed. It's 380 years old, strong, does have low stamina, which is something that would be going for us, uh, given the numbers. But 
it went all the way across the map to get to those people, so... I think it would have went for dwarves if it could have. Now I'm like, okay, where's it going? Didn't feel anything while in conflict. Didn't feel anything after experiencing trauma. Huh. It's just on its way over to the left side again. Alright, I'm going to uh, dismiss these guys. Back to doing whatever they were doing. We'll see if this thing stays on the map or not, I guess. Combat history. Okay, that's cool. Where are you going there, Forgotten Beast? Oh! Crundles! It's fighting Crundles. And it seems fine. What's it doing? Just hanging out. Fighting Crundles. And bats. Yeah, completely healthy. Now would be a time for a whole bunch of rat folk, whatever they were, the um, the underground ones, to kind of show up and use their spears and stuff. That would be pretty great. Lots of crundles showing up on the map there. They're not faring too well. So I guess that's pretty much what's going to happen here for a while, is it's just going to clear out this level, and we're going to keep living our lives. So what else do we do? Uh, yeah, still needs 375 unrotten skin tannable globs. Lump helmet man, crundles, yeah. Mandated construction of certain goods. Make splints again. Well, at least it's easy. Rock splints. Make one. How are we doing on rock? Just general rock. We got lots of basalts kicking around, so we're probably fine there. Uh, this whole area, this stockpile can be expanded. To include that mined out space. And we could always mine out some more. Yep, crundles again. I guess the one thing I can do. Oops, we were still capturing. Um is I'll go back in and remove the custom profession name off of those migrants and they can all have regular old jobs again. Crundle. Well, we don't even really have a way to access that Forgotten Beast. Uh, all we do have here, we have this drawbridge but I don't think we are in a rush to do that. Like, just doesn't seem like a worthwhile endeavor trying to fight it. I don't even know where it is, though. Which is always a little worrying. Maybe it left. It did not. It's, oh, well, it's over here. Hanging out, doing its thing, eating crundle. Yep. Interrupted by a vulture. There's a vulture kicking around. Vultures are just kind of annoying. It's really the only threat they pose. Did we capture one? We did.
So there we go. Yeah, Vulture. We'll put it on the training list. And that will be that. Well, cool. Interrupted by a vulture. Interrupted by a vulture. Ah, the vulture was fighting. Some of our people. Uh, not too worried about that. Well, the miller's still fighting. Where is this vulture, anyways? Interrupted by a vulture. It's pumpkin hair and deadly spittle. Pumpkin hair. All right, we do need to to work on this uh, this road more. So three out. Oh my gosh, more trees are growing. And we're going to need to smooth these boulders. But we don't really need the, the, the road through there. We will around the back here, though. All right, uh, paved road. Let's go from about here and here to here. And we'll do uh eh, we'll we'll pause on that piece. We'll let them smooth those out and we'll do that corner. So it might look pretty good on the whole map view if we uh paved over all this extra stuff. Of course, we could just do that with floors. Seems like the stockpiles are also, like, they're, like, shown in yellow, which is interesting. These stockpiles don't really need to exist. Uh, they're just there for pathing reasons. Maybe I'm just pulling a little bit. Oh, the metal smith is fighting. With the vulture again. Uh, I think the vulture's gonna die. Well, that's a hunter. That's the metalsmith. Oh, you're injured. I think the hunter's gonna finish you off there, Mr. Vulture. Where are you going? Oh. Ah, uh, animal has grown to become a stray up impala. That's cool. It's still flying around here, even though it's injured. Oh, no. It is dead. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, that's probably going to have to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do hit the like, subscribe, doohickey, thingamabobs. And um, do consider Patreon if you want to support this continued content. Uh, I would really appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, that's it for me for now. Have a great rest of your day. Hope you've, you've had a, a good one and are going to continue to have a gooder one. That's it for me. See you later. Bye for now.